uh, white chicks with fake butts. That's something that he likes. That turns him on. That's on him. Other people may want real. You know what I'm saying? Um, but that's on Miles B and Shannon Sharp. That it just it, it, it's people have different preferences. So I guess they're making it for a different type of you know people. I don't know. But the game was awful. Madden 16 was awful. And I stand after the patch, after the first patch, the game was awful. And I stand by that. I stand by that 100%. That game was horrible. That's not going to change. This game this game sucks too, though. If we're being honest about it. Yo, bro, dude, bro, listen, man. I, I'm just telling you right now that, yo, people have different viewpoints. That's what I'm saying. That's why I welcome people to be who they are. Just don't be crazy in, in the chat just saying crazy things, trying to get attention. You know what I'm saying? Just be who you are. Let's have some fun, and, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? But... Apparently, dudes just do whatever they want. But like, yo, why did I get banned? Like, bro, just, just, I don't want you to make a scene in here. Don't, don't come in and be something that you're not. And that's what I'm saying, bro. You know that it is what it is, man. That's just how it goes sometimes. Oh yeah, yeah. You want the real booty with stretch marks? I feel you, though, bro. I feel you. All right, let's go. All right, so he—I I had to see. I, he had Dion on that side. I think he—I think he just had Dion on that side. No, that was a hate mail. That was actually love mail. That was actually love mail. You guys want to see what he said? I'll let you see it in a second. Hold up, cause he run in my blitz, so obviously he knows who I am. You guys want to see? You guys want to see what he just sent me or nah? It, bro, you gotta remember. Uh, you know, a lot more people love me than hate me. It's just that it's just the fact that we haven't reached more people. As soon as we reach the right people, there are going to be a lot of issues with these other corny-ass motherfuckers out there, though. You feel me? As soon as we continue to reach, bro, we blessed out here. We all blessed, dog. We can't complain about none of that. And I will never sell my soul. I'm on some shit we've never seen before. Just chasing, chasing all my goals. Bruh! And we don't let these out! Go! Move up on my own line! Let's go, bruh! Let's go! Bro, my own, bro, my own old line tried to block me off, dog. What the, f yo? And I don't trust the old. Jeez, chase, chase, no, my goals. I'm on some shit you've never seen before. This double do ba da ba hoo dee. A double do ba da. Yo, I appreciate it. That that's what he said. There's no hate mail. I don't always get hate mail, bro. A lot of dudes love what I do, and they, you know, they genuinely appreciate it. But then you got the other spectrum, just like, yo, bro. Like, shut up, man. The F. F you. Bro, Zeke more than a beast, though. And I'm just the OG chasing, chasing all my goals. I bought some shit we never seen before. See, blah, ba, do, ba, da, ba, you, da. I hope you guys checked out that Meat Mill album, man. That that album is just, it got me zoned out. <laughs> like, it, it really, yo. Yo, Drake, Drake got his hands full, bro. Drake got his hands full. If they make it fair, Drake got his hands full, bro. But they got to make it fair, though. Get the ball! Get the... Run it down! Let's go! Yo, Mike, what's good? Yo, TSG, I feel you, bro. Yeah, um, yo, Country Boy, what's good? Yeah, PGH, I got a funny story for you guys. But I don't know if I should share it because you guys might figure out, like, oh, shit, that was him. Um... People knew who G Maya's world, they, they knew G Maya's world, but I was talking to him and they couldn't pick up my voice. And they were like, yo, man, he's funny as hell. It, it, was, it was very humbling, bro. Like, I'm always humbled with shit like that. Like, I'm not the kind of dude like, yo, that's me. Um, they, they, they knew, oh, shit. They knew Toke. They knew Golden Sports. And they knew I Maverick also, but they knew me. Yeah, yeah, my voice is very, very distinguished, but they were taught that, you know, they, they, those, are the, those are the Madden YouTubers they knew. They knew I, Maverick, Mr. Golden Sports, Toke. I think that was all. Oh, maybe Answer the Boss, but I don't remember. You know what I'm saying? Meek album? Bro, hey, Bruce, I'm telling, Bruce, did you listen to uh, Meek Mill's album, uh, Wins and Losses? Oh, you go for 350? I don't think he, he probably will drop a little bit more, A. Levinsky. He probably will drop a little bit more. It's possible. Doing little daddies anally. What? What are you talking about? 
but it, but it was like ill. They were like, yo, you know what it is? Like when they, yo, when they know when they knew who you know who I was, and they weren't saying like G Maya, you know what I'm saying? They were like G Maya's world. It, it was it was like crazy because, you know, my homies call me G Maya, um, and uh, you know, but G Maya's world is just my world. It's the way I do things. But people think that I'm I'm G Maya's world. You know, I'm G Maya. You know what I'm saying? Dudes call me G Maya though. Yo, no, you gotta listen. He said he's only selling eighty k though. <laughs> Nah, look, hey, Bruce, the album is tough, man. It's tough. It's tough. He, yo, listen, <laughs> he said he only selling it. Um, uh, A. Levinsky, yeah, Zeke at 350. I, I think that that's probably his, you, yo, did you check Mudhead? What the hell? Why is he all the way back here? Why is he back here? Why is he all the way back here, though? <laughs> he said it's fun to see Madden streamers. <laughs> yeah, they look, yo, AKA Anal, what? Oh, Mike, yo, I, when I saw the pics of some of the guys, it, it is funny because um, I guess I'm just different because when people, pe I, I don't know, it's weird, but eventually you guys, you know, if you guys have never seen like when I did like the chest bump competition and shit like that, when I be, just having fun on Instagram, on my Instagram and shit. Um, people don't know how to react to me when they see me. It's it's kind of weird. Oh, JKW, he fair code on the goal on the goal line. God damn. I, I didn't even see that because I'm looking at the chat. You know, I gotta see what you home. You know, everybody's saying. That's kind of lit though. Yo, Christmas six, what's good? Why did he fear catch it on the goal line though? And now on Tuesday, oh. Andrew, what's good, man? Shout out to Italy. What's good? Italy in the building right now. Bro, Italy's in the building. What's good? Bro, you got the wine or nah? Andrew, you got the wine? Or nah? Do you have the wine on you or not, bro? Let me know if you got the wine or not. Um, VA Kid, what's good? VA Kid, don't come in here with no bullshit, bruh. Uh, uh, TSG. Oh, Xbox. Okay, you said that was a while ago? Okay, Xbox. <laughs> VG, so you don't look like a, you don't look like you sound. Rocket Cantilla. Did you get my swerve action on Twitter? What swerve action? I don't know. sometimes beer while working yo italy yo italy sounds like my kind of place i might have to take that trip though yo bud bud what's good though i might have to take that trip to italy bro i might have to yo andrew talking a good game right now do say you can just drink while you're at work and shit kind of lit if you ask me bro kind of lit if you ask me though pick the ball off man what, let's go pick it off though what, what like come on why won't he pick that off though you gotta be able to pick that off, though. Bro, you gotta be able to pick that off, though. Bro, you gotta be able to pick that off, though. Like, let's go. Oh, you in Wisconsin? Yo, do you guys go hard with the, um, like, with the cheese head? You guys are really, really... Is it true what they say? Um, like, when you're, when you're in, uh, Wisconsin, that, like, dudes are just, like, straight diehard... Uh, Packer fans, and if you're not, dudes just fucking want to murk you off in the streets and shit. Are you guys psycho fans or nah? That's all I hear about you guys. <laughs> he said three. <laughs> Yo, Andrew's a savage, man. But that's how you gotta be, though. You got, you gotta really enjoy life, man. You gotta, life is precious. You gotta really, you gotta really enjoy life, bro. And you can't really get overwhelmed with shit that you know that comes in front of you, um, because like you, the the one thing you gotta understand is that you still you're still alive and you can still figure out a way to do shit. So yeah, you know, like today when I was out and taking care of my business and shit, like you know you get bad news, but you see like how Andrew's like, yo, bro, I'm about to have wine, I'm about to be on vacation. That's how you gotta be for your whole life, bro. You gotta just enjoy every day like it's your last. 
and you'll be fine. Regardless of how bad shit is or whatever, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna lose people. We're gonna, you know, try. You're gonna make mistakes and welcome in the wrong people and have to make up for it. But at the end of the day, you gotta live life, bro, and make sure you live it, live it to the fullest, bro. And that's coming from somebody that didn't know I would be alive this long because of what I, you know, you grow up in certain areas. You're like, yo, it ain't nothing really guaranteed for me right here, bro. And then, you know, somebody gives you a chance and then you make it out. And then the rest of your life, you gotta make sure you do what you can do to help other people understand it's not the end, dog. You can make it out too, so. I, that, that, that's just that's just something like for me, what I'm feeling, bro. Like, you, you, th you know, I think about, you know, certain people like, that I love, dog, that, that I don't, you know, they're not with me no more. And it's like, yo, you gotta still live without them and find a way every day, bro, to, to understand what life is about. And you gotta deal with a lot of dudes that are not genuine, you know what I'm saying? You gotta deal with a lot of people that they're only around you for whatever else you can provide them. And, you know, when you, when you think about that kind of situation and just know like, yo, you could wake up and somebody in your family could be dead, your best friend could be gone, and you just realize that life is like that, that's why I'm the way I am, bro. That's why Rex Dixon, the creative director of Madden came in and I told him how I felt. The game is garbage. How many dudes gonna say that? They're gonna suck his dick and try to, oh yeah, bro, you, yo, this is good. This is, I can't do that. I, I, I can't do that, man. I, I can't, I can't do that because I'm just not built like that. And if I do do that, I will be disrespecting everybody that left before me that told me like, yo, the best thing you can do in this world is be you. And if they don't, you know, it sounds like a cliche, but if they if they don't love me for what I am before I had shit, why the fuck should I care about them after I get shit? You know what I'm saying? So, I, you know, I look at it like that. So I'm just trying to let you guys understand that, that at the end of the day, when you're looking at your life and you think that, yo, bro, I can't fix this or, yo, this is so bad. And it, nah, it's not bad, bro. It's not bad unless you put yourself in a position to where you're doing the wrong thing and you know you're doing the wrong thing and you continue to do it. You know what I'm saying? That that's that that's when you're done. You know what I'm saying? So just stay focused on that, man. Yeah, uh, it's one of the past broadcasts, uh, Andrew, when he came in and he was calling me a bitch for swerving and stuff like that, bro. And I just had to let him know, man. I can't, yo, I can't do that, bro. Yo, bro, I'll be letting down, you know what I'm saying? Like, my fan base is not as big as, you know, Toke and all these other guys and whoever else is doing it. But most of my fan base, they Bro, my, my, most of my fan base gives more love than anybody else, no matter how big they are, on an individual level to me, than any any of these other streamers. It does, you know, any of these other streamers, any of these other YouTubers, it's not even a question, bro. Like, it's more likely, it, it's more likely if you see me out on the street, no matter how hood you are, or whatever you are, if you, or whatever you, you know, because I accept you regardless of what you are, it's more likely if you see me, you're going to show me genuine love than you would with anybody else that's not a coincidence you got you got you know people are not stupid man no matter how no matter how they think you are people are not stupid bro but it is what it is yo bound sense what's good I, I can't like bro like i said it's just it's just too much and the biggest thing you know like the biggest problem with me is i gotta be who i am all the time I can't switch up and be like, all right, I'm gonna do this, you know, for this shit. I'm gonna do this to make this guy like me. What, I, I can't, bro, I got a dick and balls, bro. You know what I'm saying? I was blessed with a dick and balls. I got no choice but to stand and die as a man, bro. I can't, it don't make no sense to me, the shit that these guys do. You know what I'm saying? And a, a, a lot of these dudes that are gonna fall through, that made the wrong decision or whatever, they thought that they could gain shit by being something that they wasn't, they gonna learn the hard way. But I already learned the hard way in real life that when you mimic something that you're not, bro, fortunate things don't happen for you. And you know what I'm saying? Like, my credibility can't be questioned in the streets or in Madden. Like, bro, you beat me, you beat me. I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to be fucking sending rage messages and trying to do Bro, listen, you got me, bro. Like, yesterday, bro, you saw the... Bro, who, who saw that game yesterday when I lost to the dude that was running Jumbo? How many dudes you know would be like, yo, GG's. <laughs> yo, bro, after the game like that. How many? How many of them? Yeah, Ayla Bissi, listen, man. I, I can't, you know what it is? I, it's a, it's a very thin line, bro. It's a very thin line. 
And people gonna be what they gonna be regardless, man. But I'm gonna be what I'm gonna be regardless too. And they gotta deal with it. And you know, we we gonna keep growing. And we, you know, what I'm saying at least we know that you know from from what we had to go up against. Oh shit! What the fuck was that? From what from what we had to go up against, they can't take nothing from us, bruh. From all from all the dudes that tried to act like they was down and all that shit and and, and think because they were doing things and you know they could just do whatever they want to do. People people don't understand like. Regardless of how close you are with anyone, there's a level of respect that you can't jeopardize. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and dudes can't think for any other reason that they could do that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's a very difficult situation, especially when you're dealing with the internet on a regular basis. But we all got to adjust. And the chips going to fall where they fall. That's it, man. We, we go we go and we do what we got to do. But I just hope that you guys understand that. That you don't pay attention to the bullshit and you understand that in life, the journey, you gotta be the best person you can be regardless of the field that you take. Like for instance, you guys may watch the news and you're like, yo, bro, I, yo, I, 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 I hate I hate drug dealers because what they do. Bruh, that, listen man, growing up where I grew up, they showed me more love than my family members. So, you know, I know that drug dealers, you know, they kill people, you know, the drugs that they sell kill people and shit like that, but people make decisions. You know what I'm saying? People make decisions and that's the outcome of it. You know, if I chose to go do drugs and shit like that and I became strung out, I don't want nobody to feel sorry for me. If, if, if it was something where I wasn't laced or something like that, you know, if, you know, every now and again somebody gets laced, but, but you know you know what I'm saying, 99% of the people make that choice to try a drug. So that's who showed me love. How the fuck are you gonna tell me to hate them? When the people that are telling me to hate them don't show me shit. You know what I'm saying? When, when I'm walking down the block, and I hit the corner and the bodega's right there and everybody outside on the block and they drinking and they smoking and shit like that. They're like, yo, youngin, what's good? Yo, yo, go get yourself something to eat. And they could provide me something to eat. And my dad is running around with fucking all kind of cash and shit like that, but won't give us no money because my mom don't want to fuck him. Bro, I got to find a way to provide for my mom and my family, dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, yo, know, it, it's, it's, what, it's what life gives you. But at the end of the day, that doesn't justify you being a fucked up person. No person that I ever call friend could I look at their woman and fuck their woman or do something disrespectful to that to that brand, bruh. I'd rather fucking die before I do that. And that's on everything. But a lot of these fuck boys that are out there, bro, that think that, you know, they could just... Was that motherfucker just clapping through his neck? That think that they could do a lot of the shit that they do and they seem to forget who I am. I don't need to remind them. You know what I'm saying? Eventually they'll figure out, like, yo, they fucked up. Whichever way that, you know what I'm saying, like I said, where the chips fall, but you just gotta look, yo, bro, people are different, man. I'm pretty sure all of us got somebody in the family that doesn't do something that you think is favorable, but that family member loves you unconditionally, and at the end of the day, you can't save everybody. If we could, the world wouldn't be so fucked up right now. So, we, 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 got, we, gotta, we gotta do whatever, man. It's, it, it is what it is, bro. Like you, people, yeah. The, but the internet is gonna get more and more wild, bro. You got you got little kids driving with their sister and live streaming, you know, while they're driving and, and kill their fourteen year old sister, bro, because they want likes and they want views. That's what this world is right now. They want likes and they want views, and now her sister's gone, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit hurts me, bro. It, it, it ain't. It's not my sister, but bro, did that 14 year old that didn't even, you know what I'm saying? When I was 14, like it, it would, people would cry if I died because by the time I was 14, I already did more for so many things. I, I, I've already did, I had already done so much for so many people that I would have had my whole town cry, bro, and shed tears if I died that early. But what kind of shit is that? You know what I'm saying? What kind of shit is that? Bro, <laughs> he said, yo, he said, he said he gotta go slap. He said he got, he said he gotta go slap box with his um, with his goldfish. Hold up, hold up. What, what did he just say? Hold up, what? I gotta go slap box. <laughs> oh man, what? 
Yo, this guy. Yo, the, 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 these guys are crazy. 